we're going to implement a cool 3D effect on the post images in the latest article section. For that purpose, we first have to add CSS perspective to the parent of the image. In this case, that is the A or anchor element. Go ahead and check the CSS to see how I've already predefined the CSS perspective. In the interaction, we are going to slightly rotate the image over the X and Y axes following the movement of the mouse over the element. So we have to detect the cursor position on the X axis and then rotate the image on the Y axis. Similarly, we have to detect the cursor position on the Y axis and then rotate the image on the X axis. Sound complicated? Luckily, this is very easy to implement in PineGrow interactions. Let's select the anchor element, parent of the image from the first article post, and add a new interaction. Now on the trigger, we need to detect cursor movement, which is similar to a hover effect in CSS. Here, select the mouse move slash touch move option. This reveals additional settings below. In the action field, we can now select what our mouse move should trigger. There are four options, detecting the X position, detecting the Y position, detecting the distance from the center, and just running the animation. Here we need to select Animate X Position, and we are going to rotate the image in the Y axis. It now gives us another option, Rest at Percentage, which means at what animation position should the animation rest when the mouse pointer is outside the element. We'll come back to this at the end. For the target, select the image inside the current element. We are detecting the X position and rotating the Y axes from negative 17 degrees to positive 17 degrees. So zero is the center. And similarly, we're detecting the Y position and rotating the X axes from minus 17 degrees to positive 17 degrees. Now let's jump to animation and create a completely custom animation. Select the custom animation or simply click on the edit animation button. In the timeline editor, click on the blank area to create a new transition. Click on the transition and at the top, select set. Enter zero for position. Add a new property and select rotation Y from transform. Set the value of rotation Y to minus 17. Now create another transition by clicking on the blank space. This one should be set to tween, and now enter zero for position, one for duration, and add a new property as before. Select rotation Y from transform, but for the rotation Y, set the value to positive 17. Hover over the image, and it should rotate right to left as your cursor moves over the image. By the way, most interaction changes are visible directly on the page. If for some reason they are not active, try refreshing the page view. Now we are going to do the same for the y-axis movement. Add a new interaction action by clicking on the button below interaction one. For the trigger, select mouse move slash touch move. And for the action, select animate y position. For target, select the image inside the current element. For animation, select custom animation. In the timeline editor, create a new transition. Select set and enter zero for the position. Add a new property, select rotation X from the transform. And for the rotation X value, enter 17. Now create another transition. Set it to tween, enter zero for the position, and enter one for the duration. Add a new property and select rotation X from the transform and enter a value of minus 17. Now our image should move as we move our cursor. So now we've got what we are looking for, but did you see that our image remains stuck when we leave it? This is due to the rest at percentage option being left blank. 
So to reset the image position, we should enter a number between 0 to 100. So let's enter 50 for both interactions. Now check the animation again, and you should see the image will reset to the natural position when the mouse pointer is outside the image. There's one last thing I'm going to add here. If you check our example, you should see that I've added a subtle shadow effect as well. That shadow moves from the left to the right, giving a more appealing 3D effect. We can add it in the same way. Here we need to detect x-axis movement, which we already have in our top interaction. So let's click on Edit Animation so we don't have to create a new transition since our element already has it. Just click on the purple Set Transition and add a new property. Go to Shadow and Filters and select Box Shadow. In the field, assign the values 10 picks, 10 picks, 10 picks, minus 5 picks, RGBA, 0, 0, 0, 0 0.4. As you know, the first two values of the box shadow are for the X and Y positions. We're going to transition the X position of the shadow, so the first value. Next, click on the other transition in the blue box and add box shadow property like before. This time for values, enter negative 10 picks, 10 picks, 10 picks, negative 5 picks, RGBA, 0, 0, 0, 0.4. You can see that we are animating the box shadow's X position from 10 picks to negative 10 picks. In the similar way, you can add any CSS properties and animate the elements as you need. With this, you should get the shadow effect when you move the cursor. Now, one last thing we need to do is add the same animation to the other images as well. Before, we've done this using a class name, but now I'm going to show you a different approach. I'm going to add an Add to Many action to the same image which has the interaction applied. Now, Add to Many gives you the option to select the target. You can edit the selector and edit any element, but for this one, we're going to select the element directly by clicking on it. So on the target, click on Select on the page, and now press Control or Command on Mac and click on the other three anchor elements of those images. On the pop-up, you should see them selected, so now click Done. Activating changes to apply to many actions requires that we refresh the page. Save the page, refresh, and check. All the images should have the same animation. This concludes the tutorial for animating a simple landing page with PineGrow Interactions. I hope the video was helpful. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact us via email or through the PineGrow forum. We'll be coming up with more videos related to PineGrow Interactions and how-to videos for creating more interactive animations, so keep watching and following. Thank you for your time and we'll see you in the next video.